Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina and today we're doing a baby Amazon haul. So the items I'm showing you guys today are a few things my mom got for me for our little baby and we are very, very excited. I am currently six months pregnant. I am 25 weeks. I have 15 more weeks to go and we are excited. I've been feeling all the kicks, especially right now while I'm talking. <laughs> A lot of these items um, my mom did purchase for me when we found out we were pregnant and then later on we decided um, maybe we should plan for a baby shower so please stay tuned for a baby shower vlog that will be coming out probably in a couple months because my shower is in January so I'm really really excited and um, I'm gonna try my hardest to link the names of all the products I show today so one of the biggest items I have is right over here, but it's the Ingenuity Luna Night uh, bassinet. And I've been seeing this all over Amazon. <laughs> Every time I was looking for a bassinet, this is the one that has the most reviews and the most purchases out of all the bassinets I've seen that are also within budget. And you guys, your baby's only gonna sleep in a bassinet for about zero to five months. So I personally don't think you should be spending like a lot of money on a bassinet that's only gonna be used for five months. That is just my personal <laughs> preference. Um, so this one I believe was under a hundred dollars and my mom has one at her place as well. So when we go visit, baby has somewhere to sleep and it comes with different settings as well. So it soothes, it has sounds, melody, Susan's the baby, even has little teddy bears on top. You can even buy an additional mattress pad, which we did in case for comfort. And you can, the mattress pads are like under 30 bucks. So they're pretty, pretty cheap. And so this is the bassinet I wanted to go with. Plus it also folds up really easily. So if we were going to visit my in-laws and friends and we really wanted the baby to sleep in a bassinet, this is a piece of cake. I didn't really unpack anything yet just because it's only like only six months I have time you know you know back over there is a I don't even know what it's called I'll probably like like it right here the name and it comes with like a play pin a car seat holder a changing table all-in-one travel kit thing for your baby and that's what we're gonna be bringing as well when we visit people. We don't plan on visiting a lot of people the first couple months when I'm after the delivery just because like I'm gonna be very tired and we're gonna try and figure out the baby's schedule. But when we do visit, this would be something we would like to bring along because it has everything we need all in one thing. And it folds and unfolds really easily as well. Okay, next thing I have is for the baby's crib which we don't have at the moment. But it's the Wenga Baby Crib Mobile. And it is so cute. It comes with little stars and teddy bears. And I kind of wanted something more gender neutral. And this is stuff we bought before we knew the gender of the baby. And it stimulates eyesight, plays lullabies, rotates, and it's really, really cute. And I wanted something small and <laughs> cheap and simple because this isn't something the baby's gonna be using for a very long time. And I kind of, you know, wanted to save money. So I think this was a nice choice. Next thing we got was this jar. I wanted a place to put all the pacifiers that were easable reach as well. So we got this um, jar container you can get these at Target, but I think my mom got this for me on Amazon. And I already have like some pacifiers in here. I have about six so far. And I know more are coming because people just love buying pacifiers for us. Um, and I just think, and this is like a travel case that when we decide to travel, I have somewhere to put the pacifiers in where it won't collect dirt and dust. Another the reason why I like this jar a lot is because it's tightly sealed, no dust can get in, and I do plan on sanitizing everything before the baby uses it. For now, I'm just throwing things in there in little places just to have them out of the way. But isn't this such a cute idea? And I plan on having this on the dresser, easy to reach for the baby, and my husband and guests will know where the pacifiers are. 
Next, I also have these clear um, bins as well. I'm gonna take one out. And I was thinking about using this for like these little containers. These were really, really cheap. I think this was like five bucks on Amazon or something. And I was thinking of using it for pacifiers at first, but I kind of like this option more. So I was thinking maybe like for um, hair accessories or um, medicine, maybe something like that, but I'm not really sure yet. So I'll figure something out. And if we don't use it for the baby, then my husband and I can totally find a space for these things in like our kitchen. And what's really great about this is that it stacks up. So here's a second one and I do have a third one. easy to stack up put away and organize so here we go I do have frames picture frames and it's for the nursery but I won't be showing those because I want to wait till I film my nursery tour so that's gonna wait next we did get a babe my baby album on Amazon it's showing white on camera but it's actually like this really light green color but it's really weird how it's showing white. I don't even know, like, see, like, I don't know. And I started putting in um, some ultrasound photos at first. And then when the baby, you know, comes out, we can take pictures and place it right here. So I'm kind of old fashioned. I like photographs and I like to print them. I just think it's a great way to share and keep memories. I love photo albums. And even when my sister and I go visit my parents, we always look at the photo albums. And it's just a great way to talk and share memories. So I wanted our baby to have her, her own photo album. Next, my mom got me a couple cookbooks for the baby because I do want to save money and um, make my own puree for the baby. So you can get a baby food cookbook and it shows you how to make different purees for the baby and it also goes to different ages. This one has a lot of cooking ideas for baby, from babies to like age seven or eight, which is really, really nice and it's exciting. I'm really excited and I hope our baby will enjoy the foods I make. <laughs> and then we do have the top 100 baby puree book, which I want to do and it's really really easy a lot of the stuff just requires like breast milk and vegetables so it is something really easy to make and easy to store and it tastes way better than the store-bought baby food along with the puree because I do want to store everything my mom my mom is the best got me um, food storage jars and I wanted these so bad I'm a very organized person especially when it comes to storage like I want things nicely put away and folded and these jars look amazing they're great quality I think this box was about 35 to 40 dollars also on Amazon so here's an example of one of the jars it's pretty small but you know your baby doesn't eat a lot tightly sealed they're dishwasher safe and microwave safe and freezer safe so you can put them in the freezer so that's really great and I think it comes with 12 jars so awesome and they are four ounce jars and later on in the future you can also use these for like little snacks and you can also travel with them and I really really recommend getting these I love them so much and I can't wait to organize them <laughs> Next, I got these for myself. They're the breast milk storage packs <sighs> because, you know, your baby's not gonna be drinking all the breast milk that you pump out because they do have a certain schedule. You have your own schedule. So whatever baby doesn't drink, I do wanna store in the freezer, have it ready for when guests or when my husband decides to feed the baby, he could just, you know, um, warm up the milk, give it to the baby. And then we do have a mini UV sterilizer. This one I plan on carrying with me 
because sometimes we do visit a lot of family members um they're not super far away but we do vi visit family members um during the holidays and birthdays and i kind of want something or in case baby drops her pacifier or um need something sterilized this is something really small and easy to take with me and if you're a mom and you have this please let me know how long you've used it because i don't know if i'm gonna like be needing it for a very long time or if i need it at all in general but i think it was really neat like seriously it is so small this is probably smaller than my phone it is a little bulky and it comes with like you can even like hang it on your bag like it's so easy how do you open this squeeze press on both sides oh oh cool see and it's probably used more for like pacifiers and stuff like that yeah it's so cute it's like it doesn't really take up a lot of space and something i'd like to bring along with me but if you um use this as well please let me know if you use it often and if it was helpful and i still put everything away in boxes because i don't really plan on cleaning and sanitizing everything at the moment since i still have three more months to go but it should be okay guys it should be fine Next is something a cousin of mine had at her um, her baby shower and I thought it was the cutest thing. My husband thinks it's lame, but you know what? It's cute. So I wanted it too and it's a frame. I'm a big picture person. And it says my first year and it goes from newborn all the way from like one month, two month, three month, all the way to their first birthday. I thought this was the cutest little thing and I want it to hang up in their room maybe, like maybe this one right here. And it's just so cute. And it's by Tiny Ideas. Next, um, I did get a two camera pan tilt video monitor. This is the brand I liked after doing a lot of research. I just, it had the best reviews and it's super easy to carry around. We plan on having one in the nursery. Then the other one we plan on carrying with us traveling and it comes with a monitor you can also hook these up to your phone so you have the monitor and plus your phones hooked up so it's really really great and next i just have a couple little night lights because i'm not a big fan of the plug-in ones especially since a lot of the outlets might be used or covered up by furniture i will show you one of them and then later when i film my nursery tour you guys can see all of them i think my sister got me one too i just don't have it here but here's one of them isn't it just so cute and it's really squishy so the baby can play with it it's harmless and all you have it doesn't have batteries in now but all you have to do is squeeze it and the light will turn on and i just think these are the cutest little night lights like oh my god and as you guys can see we are going with a cloud starry theme even the um even the little crib lullaby thing has little stars and clouds and i just think it's so cute there's a bunch of little themes so it's like a neutral foresty theme with little clouds and stars everywhere you guys will see you guys will see the nursery don't worry and then the other one is a cute little cloud and oh, i'm so excited you guys it's the cutest little thing and i prefer these over the little um plugins so Next, we have the famous little grass drying rack that almost every single person buys when they're pregnant. So I did get one as well. I might want to get a second one, but I think this might be fine. And then I have a few storage bins for the refrigerator. Um, this is going to go in our freezer. It's going to store all the milk and maybe some of the purees. So that is that. We did get one set of baby bottle bundle and these are silicone bottles. They're really interesting, but they feel kind of weird. I don't really want to take them out just because it takes me forever to put things back in. <laughs> but um, these were really interesting and they're mostly used for the newborn baby. And I heard mixed things. I heard like, I heard the product itself is great, but a lot of people, um, felt like the baby didn't like the silicone texture especially of the nipple but i think it's fine um we did get a little baby brush set this is so darn cute you guys it looks like 
looks like my baby is gonna be a Disney princess or something. <laughs> like, it's just such good quality brushes. So it comes with a nice wooden comb. Comes with this type of wooden brush. I did have a different brush similar to this, but the brush part, um, it would shed. But this one doesn't shed at all, no matter how much I tug on it, which is awesome. And I believe it's like real hair. And then as they get older, they also have this type of brush as well. So I just think this is a great little set to have. I really like it. And my mom found this one on Amazon as well. My mom is just a rock star. And also comes um, with a little tiny brush for the um, newborn. We did get a um, touchless thermometer because we do want to check people when they come into the house to make sure they don't have a fever or anything when they want to visit the baby. And it's also a great way to check your baby's temperature as well. It's really easy to use and I heard great things about this brand. This is the Good Baby brand and I really like this one. It's also very affordable. And we bought this cute little organizer. It is grayish. And this is where I'm keeping all, all this stuff in so far. But I think once we start unpacking everything, cleaning and organizing, which I'm so excited for, um, things will be moved around. But for now, since these things are really small, I'm keeping it in there. Next are just the final bigger items. So this one I already opened and it was the first item. I think it was like the first electric item my mom bought for the baby. And it is, it's upside down, but it is a wipes warmer. So I didn't know this was a thing, but so for every single mom I've talked to said, yes, highly recommend, please purchase. And wipes are cold. When you take a baby wipe out of this little packaging, it is cold. You don't want to touch your baby with a cold ass wet wipe. <laughs> so this is a wipe warmer and it's so cute looking and it's also great. It comes with different colors and you can, you just click it to open and close and it warms up your wipes. And I just think it's so cool. Like I didn't know this was a thing, but when I told everyone, my mom got my baby a wipes warmer and they were like oh yes you should you should totally keep that it's highly recommended they everyone recommends it and it's like one of the only items that i have here that every single mom that i talked to was really like hyped up about so baby wipes warmer next we do have a smart temperature control fast bottle warmer by avent phillips avent so here's the bottle warmer that we plan on keeping in the kitchen so if guests come over or my husband decides to feed the baby with some of the milk i'm storing they can easily pop the bottle in and um, heat up the breast milk and then i do have a baby bottle sterilizer this is by the brand papa bill blick i think and this is the one that was recommended to me by a lot of my pregnant friends as well. I think my mom found this online and when she told me about it, I was like, yes, I heard about that one, get it. So this is the one we went with. So that's pretty much all I have regarding some baby products that we got on Amazon. Please let me know if you guys enjoyed this video, if there are products you think I should get, or do you think I have something in here that probably isn't necessary? So please let me know in the comments. It would be really, really helpful if I have some advice from moms out there. And that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this Amazon haul. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, share, like, and I'll see you guys again next week with another video. Bye.